What's going on fellas? Welcome back to the channel man, it's your boy and for this video I wanted to give you guys a first look at one of the best uniforms from Avengers Endgame. Yes boys, this uniform in my opinion is one of the best ones we got in this update. It actually made Hulk a significantly better character for PvE while at the exact same time making him a viable threat for PvP. I never thought I would see the day when Hulk is a character that I can comfortably say if you use him in timeline battle it's not a bad idea. It's crazy boys. Honestly, there's only two things that I wanted him to get in this update that he didn't get with this uniform. That's damage accumulation. If you've been following me for any length of time, you know I've been screaming that Hulk needs damage accumulation in his kit. It makes no sense why he doesn't because he's a ball of rage that the more you hit him, the stronger he becomes. In essence, that is the Hulk. So it makes no sense to me why the Hulk doesn't have damage accumulation. And it would have also been very nice to see him get the ability to penetrate damage immunity and invincibility if he got those two things he would definitely definitely become a timeline menace in my opinion right now he is borderline god tier for pvp borderline right because he has some very very good meta qualities in my opinion he's the combat strife it's really really hard for me to compare a character to strife in pvp because strife is a monster a nightmare honestly anytime i can choose not to fight that guy i always opt out because seriously he is no joke so to compare somebody to strife that means i definitely believe in their pvp potential and honestly hulk is a viable threat especially if you gear him more towards pvp but for me i'm gonna be gearing him more towards pve because he's actually significantly better so much better in fact that with the mythic ragnarok uniform which i showed off to you guys before the avengers endgame update right the most i could do with him against proxima was stage 38 right now with a normal uniform keep in mind also guys with this uniform right the mythic uniform we have every single option every single option decked out to the t right with this normal uniform just a normal one no upgrades i'm already at 45 which tells me once i get this thing to mythic i'm going to be pushing 50 right so yeah a significant increase by just picking up the uniform and I have even less invested. So seven levels there and against Corvus, right? Pre-update, I was doing 39. Now with this uniform, I'm at 48. That's almost 10 additional levels for a uniform that costs the exact same amount of crystals, right? Granted, you can get a CTP for getting this one to Mythic, but that's a CTP of regeneration. Sorry, that's a CTP of refinement. I get them mixed up. Anyways, that's the egg, right? That's the worst CTP in the game. So yeah, it's not even worth buying the Ragnarok um, uniform for that reason. So yeah, this uniform is definitely superior. So if you had this one, you had the Mythic and you're thinking, man, I'm not going to buy another Hulk uniform because I don't think he's going to get better. Trust me, he gets way better, way more damage, super easy to play now. With this uniform, you had to use all of his skills. With this one, you only need to use three of them if you have max cooldown. So he's safer to play, easier to use, way more damage. And on top of that, in this uniform, what is making Hulk one of the best PvP characters, in my opinion, is the fact that on four out of five skills, he actually has Fracture, right? And Fracture is one of the best PvP abilities because most notably, it removes character's ability to heal. So people like Wolverine, Deadpool, people who have really annoying abilities that they can heal a ton of HP, every time they get hit by Hulk, He's going to apply Fracture to them for 5 seconds and make it so that they can't heal. So they can't out heal the amount of damage that he's going to do to them. That's freaking awesome. But on top of that, right? Every single one of Hulk's skill applies a 2 second stun. So if you ever run into Hulk in timeline battle and you're foolish enough to not use debuff removal, every time this guy hits you, you're getting stunned. You're getting rocked and that is what is supposed to be happening when you get hit by the green goliath so shout out to netmarble they came through i was not expecting to see five stuns on this man's skill seriously five stuns for two seconds so every time you get hit by the hulk one of his skills is just gonna stun you on top of that to put the icing on the cake boys the three skill allows them to hit characters when they're in iframes this is awesome seriously 
iframe ignore in the hoax kit and it also looks so freaking badass to watch him grab them and just beat the crap out of them it looks so awesome but in my opinion this is a pvp only skill you don't want to use this too often in world boss ultimate because you'll take a bunch of damage while you're doing it because you're not in an iframe while you're performing this skill if you were oh my goodness he may have actually been a solid solid counter for captain marvel but nonetheless, because of the fracture, because of all the stuns, because his damage is way better, he's actually a viable threat in PvP right now. If he had penetration, which allowed him to penetrate invincibility and damage immunity, oh my goodness, he would have been so much better. But you can fix that by giving him a CTP of destruction if you're determined to use him in PvP. If you're not, you're probably best off giving him a CTP of energy or a CTP of rage. Frankly, I've tested his skills. His five and his four do really good damage, but for me, the four seems to do significantly more damage than the fifth. So I'm gonna stick with a standard damage proc for now. However, if you have a bunch of CTPs of rage lying around, sure, give one to the green guy, and I would honestly say he's worth it right now. So for a rotation for Hulk, all you wanna do is open with the fourth skill for the damage immunity let this thing play out to completion after it's ended you will have about one and a half second left of the damage immunity then you want to perform the fifth skill to safely get into the full iframe well not full iframe it's a iframe when he jumps in the air and then there's iframe at the end so at the beginning of the skill when he starts punching you're not in an iframe so it's best to use this skill right after you use this one so you get the immunity if you start off with this one you're going to take a bunch of damage and he can actually die if you're on really really high stages in war boss ultimate after you go 5-4 you then want to use the two skill because this is one of the coolest skills in this kit and it's actually an iframe right hoax just jumping in the air and he's just unleashing a volley of punches it looks beautiful honestly all you got to do 5-4-2 that's it if you want to use the three just because it looks cool go ahead and do it but it's not a very safe skill to perform in war boss ultimate especially if you're up against people like proxima right the lightning can hit you and all that stuff and then you can get bled by corvus anyways we're not gonna ramble i just want to share some gameplay with you guys share my hype that hulk is actually a viable character i didn't change anything in his build because i want you guys to take a look at how he's doing now and then you can go back and look at the video i made like three or four days ago and you can see this is the exact same build right his stats are even lower because the uniform is at a lower rank but he's doing way more work so i gotta love it man gotta salute the hulk we're even gonna use the exact same team setup i'm very happy still kind of salty that he didn't get damage accumulation but that's just me right anyways so right here we're gonna use this team we're gonna use this strikers and i'll show you guys how he does man gotta love it yo it's so sick seeing him come in with the helicopter but then again it's so corny just watching it disappear and not blow up it would have been really cool if it like blew up and caused like a big explosion before the battle started like the hulk is in the building y'all about to get rocked Ooh, taking a lot of damage. That's why you want to start with the uh, forward skill. Also the poison, all the bleed from the, these things. See like that? Ooh, that portion of the skill before he jumps, not an eye frame. So you definitely want to make sure that if you can, if the boss is not getting crowd controlled, that you have the immunity up. Okay, hold up. Which skill is he? Okay, good. He's using the fifth. So much better to play him in this uniform because you don't have to worry so much. You can just literally use whoo, these three skills and two out of three of them have good damage, right? So if you miss your proc on, ooh, oh boy. Okay. It's really, it's really bad when um she gets like mind controlled or charmed and then she just starts firing. Ooh, hold up. The lightning randomly all over the place because it's it's much harder to dodge it that way. So yeah, well, as I was saying before, hold up. Now that you only have to use three skills when you're playing him and two out of three of them do really good damage, 
it's much, much better to play the Hulk because if you miss your proc on your four and you land it on your five, then you still get solid damage. Whereas before, if you miss your proc, woo, unlike your five skill, you're not gonna get much damage out of your four and the four was never that safe and you could just get one shot in. At least now both skills are just, both skills are kind of safe, right? The fifth skill, not as safe as it could have been, right? Because there's about like one and a half second when he's like punching on her. Okay, so he used the two to start there. Okay, nice. He's doing good amount of damage. Looking like he could have actually done one level higher than this. But you, you know how proximate get, guys. Like, when you start doing real well, all she needs is one opportunity, right? And then she's just gonna make it rain lightning like six, seven times in a row. That's a good amount of damage. Also, defense down would have been nice for him, but not every character can have defense down, right? So, it's okay. This is definitely a noticeable increase. Six levels higher here. Ooh. Oh, boy. You're taking a bunch of damage. Come on. Come on, Hulk. Also, I forgot to mention that he has Ignore Dodge now as a part of his uh, four-star passive when his HP is below 90%, which is basically all the time. Unlike other characters that heal a lot, oh boy, Hulk's HP is almost always below 100%. Yeah, see, she's just going to make it rain lightning constantly. So that 25% is basically always up. Because he's up in your face, grounding and pounding, putting in the work. All right. Should Hulk be stronger than this? Yes, he should. Let me move out of that. But... At the exact same time. I'm happy with what we got. I'm happy. Right? At least he didn't get treated like Nebula. <laughs> She's the pun of the, <laughs> the joke for this update. It's so sad. Alright, so let's actually not complete this. I'll show you guys how he does. Alright, let's jump in against Corvus so you guys can see just how much better the big guy is becoming on average. For here, we're going to need three Ignore Dodge Striker. Minimum. And let's get it, baby. All right, Hulk, let's do this. Let's pour it on him. I want to take some damage with him. That way we can trigger the, um, there we go. Oh, I thought he hit me. Yeah. <laughs> I got kind of happy there for a second because I want to keep his HP below. There we go. That's a good amount of damage. There we go. I want to keep his HP below. Um. Okay, I'm going to tag out here just because I'm in fire and oh wow i didn't even need to tag out can't run with you right now i'll do it later bro i don't want to do any damage with fury so we're kind of wasting time here i didn't know scarlet was gonna mind control him and of course this guy bro anyways i wanted to there we go take some damage that way we can get the ignore dodge from his four star passive to bring us up to 85 percent since we're only running three ignore dodge strikers so ideally, you want to keep them below 35,000 HP. So in between like phases and stuff, I'm going to tag to keep his HP low. That way we have enough. Well, ideally you should go for 100% so that all of your attacks connect. But most of the time, like 90% of the time, I run with 80%. And I find that I do well enough. Okay. This guy. This guy. Oh my goodness, he canceled out the force skill. You're so annoying. Okay, let's take some damage. And then we're still a little bit too high on HP. Damn. It's fine. Next time we come out, he might take a little bit of damage and then we can activate that four star passive of his again. Poison Meteor. Oh, thank you, Scarlet. That mind control two clutch. <laughs> Damn, that was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. Ah, really? I hate this guy so much. Woo! 
Yo, check this out. Hulk runs so fast. Like, it doesn't even feel like... Well, it looks like the Hulk just because of how, like, bulky he is, right? But how fast he's moving compared to before, bro, when he was so slow and sluggish in the Ragnarok. Or not even just the Ragnarok, in any of his uniforms, frankly, right? He's always been very slow, and I wouldn't advocate for him to be a fast character because he's the Hulk. He's supposed to be slow and sluggish. But it's interesting to see they actually made him faster, right? Okay, hold up. Get slapped with that heli! Okay, we're gonna get... Whoo, that's a lot of damage. Hello! Can we outrun this? Yo, the fact that I can easily outrun this with Hulk, that's a testament to how much faster he got. Like, jeez. Okay, no proc. Actually, we did. The proc activated at the end of the jump. That kind of sucked. Okay, what are you gonna do? Oh, thank you, Scarlet. Hello, baby. Come on. Where's the proc? Oh, thank you, Scarlet. This proc, yo, this proc is being uncooperative for a six star obelisk, bro. It's not trying to be cooperative at all. Sprinkling the team up a little bit. There we go. We, yo, that's a nice amount of damage there. Like you guys can see for yourself, man. He's putting in the work. Ooh, hold up, hold up. I'm, I wasn't sure if he was gonna be able to tank all that. So instead of risking it and dying, we'll just tag out. Okay, come back in. And let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ah, uh, damn it. We got hit with that stupid paralysis, and then he iframed me. So you guys can see, man, Hulk can put in the work. He can definitely get down to business in PvE right now. And this is a level 60 Hulk with a normal uniform and only a 140 damage proc. Keep that in mind, that's only a 140 damage proc. So he can definitely do way more than this. You give him a 200% damage proc, you give him a mythic uniform, you give him some better Urus, you get all those other uniforms that are required for him to mythic. Give him as much attack status as possible. He could probably, at level 70, gear 25, with a CTP of Rage, take down like 55 plus. All right? And that is impressive. That is impressive. Especially against Proxima. Any character that can do above 50 against Proxima is a very good character. And the fact that he can do 45 at level 60 with a normal uniform definitely tells me that at level 70, with a mythic uniform and all the right stats, all the right CTPs, he can definitely definitely do 50 and above and that's awesome so yeah man we're gonna wrap it up right here thank you guys so much for watching leave your thoughts in the comments let me know how you guys are feeling personally about the hulk in this uniform not the most pleasing uniform to look at frankly for me from my perspective but it is efficient it is efficient it gets the job done in pve and he definitely has the potential to put in work in pvp especially if you get him to level 70 or level 60 you're not going to really see him make an impact because of the level gap right but at level 70 and if you give him a ctp of destruction to penetrate damage immunity and invincibility i can definitely see him putting in work there so yeah man you have options with the hulk finally we have a hulk that's very good and on top of that you have options you can either use him in pve or in pvp let me know how you guys are feeling though i'll catch y'all in the next one peace